but as much much I would like would enjoy delivering your carcass to Delekhan, I will reserve the pleasure of your execution for him. Do not move, Korath. You are completely surrounded. So, for fourth, fourth cap chapter. The war drums has begun to do at dawn. Stalking wildly the corridors of the ancient forest, Narab carried a witch light to eliminate his way. As he approached the doors to the great hall, two mortal guards dressed in full battle regalia stood away. They made no sound as he whisked past, nor blinked at the sight of him. Greetings, Narab. A cold voice called from the throne. It has long been since I have seen your face in Saragasagoth. Have you cr grown bolder or more the fool? Nar Narab knelt at the base of the throne and kissed Delekhan's foot. That is for your, you to decide. If my words are not your liking, then my life is yours. It is already mine. Delekhan Wolf is eyes bla placed in the darkness. Speak, he commanded. I have just returned from a journey into the kingdom. I bring a prize. I have no interest in valuous baubles. This is not a bauble, Narab said, cutting off Delekan. And I think you will find this. It, it, is, it is of great value. And would it have named this thing? Yes, my lord. Its name is Gorath, Narab sneered pridefully as he evaded his leader's praise, evaded the words that would restore his place in a mortal uh, favor and rescind of the order of death on his head. <laughs> rescind of the order of death on his head. Nice, nice leadership around here. Perhaps he would even have a place among the new lords. Delekhan lunk from his throne, his razor edge gauntlet tilting the bloody seam across Narab's face as he lashed him black voice. You have wrecked everything, you dog, that I can bell out. But I have brought back the enemy from the Northlands, Narab sputtered, blood dripping from the, his torn lips. With Korak, Captain, we can proceed with our... Apparently that wasn't part of the plan. You know, nothing. Narab retreated, suddenly aware that his efforts were wasted, that his oath of loyalty meant nothing to his hateful lord. Resolutely, he sifted a flash of pain as immortal leader thundered towards the doors. And what is my uh, what of my life? Narab whispered, halting delicate and his it is forfeit. Nice. Owen didn't want to be awake. Perhaps uh, it was the drugs they have given him of the endless walking that he had done in the past month and a half. All he could think about his sleeping now was restful non-existence that interrupted the beatings and the holding and the exhaustion. He just wa wanted to sleep, but that irritating jangle wouldn't left him. Where was it coming from? Korath, Obun asked, are you there? Suddenly, Jangle rattled louder, this time uncompanied by a loud creak and flight of the torchlight as bright as the sun. Out of that glowing corona limbered the largest mortar he yet seen. I see my assistants have been over jealous in their efforts to sedate you. Is this proper to tremble when you are addressed by the Rekan, leader of the United Tra United Unified Tribes of the Northlands. We found this among your things, Kingdom Dog. Tell me where you are. We were going with it. We weren't talking, uh, taking it anywhere. We just picked up everything we could carry and ran. We needed gold. A lie. The seal that Nighthawks used for, for our messages was broken. The new writing at, at the bottom of the page confirms your guilt. Uh, what does Capon's fo Capot's folly mean? Who are the Arthur? Who are Arthur and Jimmy the Hand? I really have no idea. Someone else would have beaten us 
and, and open its scroll before we got here. We talked what we found and left before we got nabbed. Do you want us to cut you in in on the booty? I, I think uh, Owen has been like <laughs> some some kind of criminal at the past. Uh, what I want is information. Your company Goras damns you as certainly as your lie does. Until he betrayed his own, he was second in power only to me. He shall die for his disloyalty. Since you choose to remain silent, I have your tongue uh, and feed it to my rats. Nice. Have back your message, spy. It will do you little good in your grave. Okay, that was a mistake probably from his part. Telekan stalk away. Still rattled by his integration, the oven tried to collect his fuzz coated thoughts into a coherent wall. Thankfully, his fits had proved the lies as needed, but only narrowly had he avoided the impulse to tell everything he knew. It was almost as he was priming provided coerced bewitched magic. Astonishing. He had been aware of it uh, at the time. The boy looked again at the bulky warrior who now stood whispering over Gora's limp form. At first he believed Delekan was incanting a spell, one perhaps intended to coerce the truth from his victim. But after a few moments it became clear the warlord was conversing with his barely conscious friend. No, Gorath croaked, shaking his head. Plans unfulfilled, Delekan whispered finally. Abruptly, he struck. Boom. It was too much to observe. Even if the events unfurling before him went openly damning, Owen had seen enough to keep him swinging in a sea of doubts. All of them centering on the loyalty of his friend and traveling companion. Worse still, he had to deliver the message to Prince Arthur outside the dim wood, and he would need Gorat's help to do it. Desperately, he wished he had uh, time to sort things out, but the time was only commonly he didn't have. Enjoy your deaths, I know I shall, Delica's scratchy voice uh, snatched Owen out of his thoughts, directed his attention to where the murder stood in the doorway gesturing to someone in the dungeon corridor. From the nowhere, the monolithic door swung into place, and once again the room was land of shadows. Experimentally overstruck the bars of his cage, knowing full well the corroded structure was too solid to yield. But even as his fingertips came away from the metal, the bars began to knee vibration tyrant harmonies, evocating of distant temple bells. Someone was working magic, and it wasn't him. Oops. I wouldn't waste it no time. Later he could debate to his heart's content about who it was that had set them free, and what uh, their reasons for doing so might be. But at the moment he had no thought in him, but finding a means to get uh, them out of the dark and cell alive. Hurrying to Gorath, he freed him from his iron manacles and allowed the mortal to lean, lean against his shoulder as they limped together towards the heavy dungeon door. Again tugging at the handle, they found that the lock was undone, another gift, gift from the unknown benefactor. What about the guard? Owen whispered, allowing Gorath to stand once more on his own. Gorath lifted his head and spoke his beast still slurred by the drugs he, that had been the administered to them. Keep moving, he said, waving a hand to the door. No one is there. Pushing out the door, they found themselves confronting wide hallway with passages leading in three other directions. Okay, that was... Yeah, that, that is a bit glitching. This is this is not really a good good thing. Okay, now I saved. Let's restart the game and see what happens. That that was odd glitch. I mean, this has been working so far, so I don't see any reasons why it wouldn't.
but some rendering problem maybe. Okay, it, it works now. Yeah, the, this is DOS, DOS box, so it's a the DOS em, emulator. Okay, so here here are our, our gear, or rather most of them. This is actually actually probably Gorat's gear. It's going to go out. I suppose we are going to manage well. Let's let's remember the room we left the torches. Yeah, some somewhere here. If we ever need, I think we are going to go out of this dungeon pretty pretty quickly. Oh, oh, old wisdom. Turn turn right every time and shoot everyone who is coming. Who you meet. Uh, okay. Or that that actually was like game design in some some ga ga old games. So uh, I don't think we need to go there. Okay. Uh, small gangbang guys. Okay. Let's freeze you. I love this feather so far. Why? Why did you miss? Come on. Okay, these are not the uh, not the uh, poorest fighters I've met. That guy even blocked Gothark. So yeah, you deal with them. I'll, I'll rest. Going to freeze when when those those guys thaw out. I, I think this guy is going to thaw out first. Fine then. Okay, this is going pretty well. Okay, that that wasn't really. <laughs> Well, both of them were dropped with the, with, the, with, the, with the first strike. Okay. Two hours later. So here we can actually use the swing across, and yeah, it's a dead end. Yeah, my my thought thought this already, but yeah, when we were playing this, or my roommate was playing this on the uh, year was the 2001. I think, yeah, 2000 or 2001. Uh, he he was, he actually went over the edge and uh, with the rope, with, with his final rope, and then noticed that hey, by the way, it's it's a it's a dead end. So I need to find like emulator, uh, no, emulator, uh, save editor for this game, and I turned one of his magical rings to the rope. Grasslock ability has increased. Uh, not that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, apparently you can train the lock picking this way. <laughs> okay. If it works, it's not stupid. <laughs> Huge beat. There's something here, there's something here. We haven't checked this. I wonder if there's like something here. Okay, that seems like we are getting up. They weren't observed, and th thankfully they had m emerged from the dungeon alive. Korat made a mental note to say a prayer thankfulness to Ruthia as once they were in safer circumstances. There still was the matter of escaping out of the perimeter of Sarsagoth to worry about.
The use of the stone is ancient, dating since the time of original Murimdamus. It would appear, however, that a crystal, preferably emerald, is required in conjunction with a Nalar ship to properly invoke the Lord of the Void. Interesting. Let's not take the let's take the um, emerald away. So there's a uh, tavern shop. Scavengers need. Okay, they are not buying. Not buying. Okay, he's he's a scavenger. He's buying only a. Uh. Okay, what we do we have here? We have only like basic stuff. Silver stone, silver stone, anti venom. That that would be like uh, really, really, really helpful. Uh, two two pieces. Did we did we get six? Ah, uh, I think I'm buying buying these. So our our loot is not appreciated. At least in this shop, we could, we could actually try to find the uh, find find another shop. Powder bag. That's one hundred gold. Eh, that's it. That's it. Darn, darn expensive. I was trying. Throwing all the, all the borders away in, in. Ah, okay, so you can actually go back there. If you think something was missing. That's 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 really nice. I mean, if you left leave something. Tavern. Now we are going to do what we used to do. Sixty-four. I'm afraid I have come to end of my funds. Barmaid. So we have two weeks worth of food. That's that's enough. I think it should be enough. We have lots of weapons that we need to. Exit. Yeah, so welcome, welcome, welcome to the north. This looks like a Finnish summer. Pretty much. Uh, no, somebody has has been like working magic and and released us. I wonder who. Cyrus, I got. I don't think North should have this well defined. Uh, road ne ne network. And we should have rested. Why in the earth we didn't rest? Oh well. Koras will deal with them. Ouch. Oh, 
48 percent. Ah, oh, lucky, lucky shot. Come on, hit. Thank you. Can rest. Let's rest a bit. Or you can actually move to move to the next to the enemy and rest after that. Because <laughs> now, okay. She thought out, so let's follow her. Okay, escaping. Not going to escape. Forty-four percent. That 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 was lucky once again. What two terms? Okay, that's that's a that's a bug actually. That's actually a bug. Let's see. She's still on the grid. Or rather, it's 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 an exploit. So he can actually can't actually run straight line. Yeah, maybe we got got them. So there's probably ghosts. So if I start to dig up this grave, so. No, thank you. They were not alone. Owen pulls the quick and as he saw a lone figure approach. When it be became apparent they were not being attacked, he relaxed a bit, squinted slightly in an attempt to see who uh, was about to join them. Uh, Liallan. I was beginning to believe Delekan has slain you. He will infuriate that you escape. You sound immediately pleased that, uh, of that prospect. Why it is charade, Liallan? You can't believe in Delekan's activities any more than I, and yet you support his cause. Your command a respectable, respectable tribe and have almost as much power. Almost. Uh, do you forget who engineered your escape from the Sarasagoth all those months ago? Who do you think directed Delekan's rats in the snow plains while Obhar's family scrambled so to safety? That was my doing. If not, uh, not for my help, the six would surely have crushed the, your tribes for the green herd. Were you responsible for? No. I had nothing to do with your escape this time. Hmm, interesting. Whatever you may have done, you have achieved your own. Your first escape served my purposes, but your continued survival uh, as, is as nothing to me. It neither threatens or advances my cause. Then you will help me again. I will consider my efforts an investment against the future of the Northlands Korath. They will gain me little now, but perhaps a later day your help may be useful. I will alert my spies to whatever your needs may be. To be honest, I don't believe you will achieve much beyond your own survival. But even that may prove to my boon. Your consort with a monster, so apparently Liallan is, is a consort of Delacan. Uh, tell us the way and we shall murder him in his sleep. Kurat <laughs> uh, has a, a straight way to deal with the problems. Show us a secret passage and we shall drink his blood and buy the mortal out of the pact of the blood. That was many bloods actually. And what shall become of us? Hmm. Mordolf will then step into his father's place and we, we use our treachery to light the fires under our pursuers. Delacan must fight this battle uh, and our kin die with him on a foreign soil for a future cause. Fight bleak. Only then will the Otel clans who fight to join him know that we cannot unify under banner of death. Their failure taught no lesson after Murmanda must be traitors in the field and this shall come to no new conclusion. We want to same thing, Corato. I intend to claim what you fear. I will take the throne of nations of the north when Telekan has fallen to, uh, to kingdom place. I will lead. Ah, she has a plan. I don't know whatever I should laugh or reap at that succession, Lialan, but I favor you over his past that get, get more of. There have been a few occasions I have 
uh, had to visit in Nar- La- Nalas Reap. I forget its location. It li- lies south of here as the crow flies, few minutes from the front case of Sargasagot. I have not been there for a long while. Nalas Reap. Freedom. A- again, I must seek help in the kingdom. Prince Arthur's army must be there to meet Delacan. It may prove more difficult than you imagine. Delacan has caught Narab's head. Why should that be? If not for Narab, I would still lose the, in the kingdom. I do not know what fire burned in his mind, but they smoked like madness to me. Narab has caught his clan surround us, though they can little threat to us here. The six will crush them hopelessly, but they can restrict us for a time. The more that Nara plays the fool, the more time it will gain us, though I could wish he were doing it elsewhere. Is there no way past this clan? Not unless you may know how to bring down the Dark God's wrath from Nala's ship. I can't imagine wait until six arrive. The battle. For what God called does Delacan do this? Uh, they are n- can be nothing gained by attacking a single castle in the frontier of the kingdom. He tells those who rally him that Murmandamus lives, that he is captive within uh, the kingdom and that he intends to free him from captivity. Non shall he die at Setana. True. And what advantage is there for that uh, for Delacan? Step aside and let Murmandamus retake his place on the throne? I would uh, easier believe you the mistress of death <laughs> than Delekan, who um, one who longs for ancient master. It would seem that there is one among a mortal who thinks I have uh, thinks I do have wondered at what he wishes to gain. I may have only concluded he plots to get something from Murmandamus in exchange for freeing him. He had great powers, greater even than the six who now work for Delekan. Perhaps he p- pleased that he can learn the secrets of our former leader's powers. The six. Whence did Delegan's matching gangs come? Were they spoken in the Harlech before uh, first I left the Northlands? Do they advise? And more, they plan great schemes in the night with him, meetings which uh, even I am no longer privy. They are ones who recommend the extermination of your tribes. Those bastards. They speak no, uh, of the law born as if the lives are without value. It is as if they live uh, for the complexities of intrigue. Little else seems to be a matter to them. When they buy, buy their wine, with what coins do they bargain? None. They carry only gems, rubies and of low quality. They toss them around as if they were as common as seeds. They abide in Sarasagoth. When they are with Delekan, uh, at the moment they have gone south with Mordorf to Harlech. I believe they mean to round up the others uh, of your tribe who have been reluctant to join Delekan's throne. Okay. So that was interesting. So she wasn't. Apparently it, it might have helped. Let's use the cheating tool. Okay, so there's something. There's something. We are going about south, so... There's something as well. Look at that! I think we could actually put our flame cast into the work. <laughs> that, that was hilarious. And you couldn't get to the close. And I missed. Oh dear.
Yeah, he's, he's really tired. That fireball is taking way too much stamina and health. He was fired once again. He gets poisoned in every every fight basically so we were kind of missing the one place here let's take a new course so somewhere here this must be Nala ship uh, the note we found said to put the emerald in, in the notch of the Oh, at the top. Do, what do you think? Yes. Yeah, Gorat took an emerald and carried it carefully to the stone slab. When he was uh, still several steps away, the gemstone began to feel very warm in his hand. And by the time he reached at the slab, the stone was cracking and shooting small sparks as from the piece uh, of struck flint. It was all he could uh, do not uh, not to drop it in the dust. Fighting the pain which was crawling intensely with the every inch, he jumped the uh, emerald into the notch atop the stone. A blast of energy slammed him to the ground, shielding their eyes from the flood of swirling light that was now emanating from the slab. They watched it scream and pulse, heard it scream and shriek, felt it burn and electricity with the blast of energy greater than lightning. Uh, filled storm. It stopped as suddenly as it began. The uh, still shaking, they climbed, uh, climbed into to their feet, trying to regain their scrambled senses. Blinking to see again, yawning and um, to unplug their ears, stretching to shoot their aching bones. Okay, I wonder what that did. So that looks like a box or something. No, it's it's a cap. <laughs> that, that, that was a misfire, but ah. Eh. Oh no. Yeah, that's a spellcaster, definitely. Uh, Gorath is too slow, so... Yeah, that's, that's painful. Ouch. We are kind of needing this good uh, armor here. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, you can, you can drink it all. Ouch. Too bad I didn't hit it on the first go with, with that mage. Because that's that's like uh really, really nasty.
trying to run away. Well, that didn't work, work out so well. You can go to defense mode. Yeah, Korath is a great <laughs> badass because he needs to be in, in this chapter. Because if player has like uh, not really developed uh, Owen's uh, ability to defend himself, he's going to be like really weak in this situation, definitely. So we kind of entered somebody's camp and slaughtered everyone here. Normal role playing stuff. And no wonder. Wrath of Gideon. Okay. Uh, actually, you have always room for the magical. Magical scrolls. That's probably some kind of. Shaman's tent or something. Okay, no, north, north is that way. Kyren. Surprisingly, they are having similar houses than in, in south Crot thrown at the door then turn to leave wait a minute Kratoven where are you going do you know who lives here or something Korath annoyed it turned uh, and went into the door he knocked lightly there doesn't seem to be um, uh, anyone he he was interrupted by the sound of the door creaking open. The door was his back, so only Owen could see the paint look of Gorat's face. He turned around slowly. There was instant recognition of fires of the female border. They obviously know one other under. She smiled at Gorat salaciously and pulled his reluctant form into her house, leaving Owen standing in front of the door. After several minutes, Gorat returned packing out the doors with the nodding. What was that all about? Uh, nothing, just an, an admirer, said Korath. She didn't have much news that we don't already know. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. So you can basically see them, but they are <laughs> really low. L low resolution. Okay, got. That's not as bad. Now, now they are actually leave these those trolls. What? They are not escaping. Damn. Well, this is going to be a, like a bit more tricky. Trolls that do not escape, or, or they are ogres or something. Okay, that's that's a bad fight. That's a really bad fight. I suppose we need to avoid the Kohtarak's home. Kurat's home. Sorry, I'm, I'm often, often referring him with a similar name. So this is too, too, too shit. As they approached the tent, Owen could hear the sounds of somebody working inside. Hello, we robbed the another tent. <laughs> Abruptly, the sound stopped. Korath 
Kothrath called out, greeting in a model and the moment later they smell. Small model joined them. Well, my elusive Superman friend, he said, I hear news you have been recaptured by seeing you have eluded Delekan once again. And what of the rest of the Greenheart clan? Kurat stole a glance beyond the model into the tent. They spoke slowly. Some fleets of others have been pressed into service by Delekan. And what of you, old friend? What is your story? I have no loyalties. My ship is, has always been steered by the captain, at least likely to get me killed. Uh, no I stockpile supplies for the army that approaches. Do you think Delegan's plan to attack the kingdom will get you killed? Just as your brothers were killed following Murmandamus, Korat shot back. When that time comes, perhaps I will seek a new captain, he said. The, he looked at Korat for a long time, then added, There are some boxes to the southeast. <laughs> no go. Okay. Nice, nice, nice to have some support. Yeah, there's the boxes. Okay, this is not very good at this phase of the game. But book. Oh boy. Kalem's book detailed many factors that could affect the quarrel. While in a flight, uh, the measures to, could be taken to compensate the crosswings, bolts with poor spines, and targets that were particularly obscured. He further went on to recommend that archers consume true sight tea. Okay, so it's a Kalem's deal addict. This is, uh, we have about uh, enough coins for one blessing. So what's that? Okay, so they are berries that heal. Because this is high fantasy. Alright. Armingar. So this was a big place that was taken over by the a dark horse. Shop. The forge. Okay, so they are buying armor probably. Do they buy weapons? No weapons. That's that's crazy amount of Okay, so only armor. Huh. Tavern. They, they have a ruined ruined castle and there's a tavern. Seventy seven. Korath motored the figure across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood before them, eyebrows arched inquisitively. Emelian. Drink what you can, for Helectan will have the rivers running pace and chickens laying dust for us on stasis at the end. There's nothing to be gained in this campaign, but the sparks of in his eyes have blinded him. Damn the six, damn those magicians that lead us to death and imprison us all. I see you have a little wish to keep your head attached to your shoulders, Imerlin. Your tongue your wax and your uh, drool your brains into the table. For all to see it, your drink makes you a fool. But uh, what the drink makes me is only a concern to me and the tavern keeper. Let, let me be yellow tail. I suggest you consider advice from the one who has suffered Delegas' wrath and live to tell the tale. I take it that some acquaintance of yours has been detained by Delegas' magicians. But of it, nothing's to be done. The six have thrown Obgard the Venturer and his dogs tomorrow they come round and hurry a lot uh, of us to our deaths. I propose we help uh, one other, another than work against what uh, could you offer in exchange for Opkan's release from the naphtha mines? 
if you can manage that I can get, get you half the boys weights in gold or equivalent thereof. Of course tribe alone would be willing to play some rams, such a ransom. Then get your hands and gather those fees and we will see what may be engineered. We will meet you again in this tavern when we have achieved Opgar's release. Yeah, it's, it's here. So, uh, let's go to Naftamize. That's like side side quest, but pretty interesting. And, and the fact is that you could... Uh, if my nose does not mislead, we must be nearing the Naftama caves, one of which Irmelin spoke. It will be critical f uh, for you to cooperate with uh, all that I say if we are to get Opgar out of this case alive. Why are we even doing this? Why don't we simply head south? Opgar is a name familiar to me and I believe he may serve a purpose with his freedom. Kin to me uh, in irritation, he has prickled Delacan's ire times enough than we may depend. He will avenge himself upon his captor. So are you are hoping that he is as much to bother to Delacan as the Narap when? So what will we need to be? When when Trier of Lan operates in this locale and is no such a trader of slaves, I will offer you into slavery. You are going to do what? <laughs> Do not alarm yourself over much. Venture would have no need to scrub your young bow, boy in this nafta case, and you will be undoubtedly uh, insist I see his operations. Reassurance you will not be ill treated. And when we have entered the caves, undoubtedly the both of us will be taken captive. So this is your brilliant plan. We just get away from Delekan in Sarsagot and in you want to get uh, us taken captive again. We have uh, a way out, however, as you may detect by the stents of this river that runs hard by the nafta mixes with uh, it from the underground river, which runs through the caves. It has since the day of Guy to Prastura towards Ar Armengar. I know this because I have had words with others on help the captive by the new trier. Once we are ready to leave, we dive in the underground river and we'll emerge somewhere downstream. No one has ever died doing this. I have only, I have met none that have, come on, <laughs> come, we have business attend to. That's called survivor bias. Definitely. That's survivor bias right here. Uh. If you, if you only talk with those who survive, you are not kind of kind of missing the point. Okay, Naftamize. Here we go. Let's save. Uh, that's a... Uh, wonder what, what was the... Special marking. Don't move, there's something <laughs> very not right. Ah, uh, it's a trap! Okay, so, um... Uh, what if I... Push this... To here... Uh, that was a trap. There's something here. Lots of boxes.
Se on tietysti nähtä. Jos mulla on amontu coins. Ja mun nähtä. Nothing too interesting. Nafta might be a pretty okay. If, if we use that. Bitch, uh, we could start using that. And I like it because you can actually stack it. So that's like burning, burning, burning blade. Yeah, lots of lots of stuff to coat our weapons. A figure large from the mines. The man had back black hair cropped short over his expansive forehead, revealing a dark birthmark which curled from his hairline to just below his left eye. Looking them over, he nodded to Korath. You are trespassing a private property model. This area is restricted by the for commerce, not loitering. But I am very interested in your commerce, sir, and that's very reason I sought you out. I wish to you sell you the boy. What? Bah, pitiful, he paws like a calf. Yeah, we have to feed him uh, a herd to get uh, through the meat on his bones. He's weak, probably diseased, doesn't look like he's eaten in weeks. His looks are deceptive, single-handedly slew my partner with a kitchen knife and he broke my mate's arm. He will grow into an even stronger man. Impressive, but he sounds like trouble. We had to fight him every day to keep him from escaping. I'm not getting sold to anybody. A mercenary is little good if he's easily overcome, don't you think? Break his will and he will be invaluable to you. He looks noble and I don't want the bounty hunter sent from the kingdom in my business. He was camper boy of no importance, you have my, uh, no trouble with him. Of no importance? 150 sovereigners, take it or leave it. But before we clap hands this, would you like to view our operations here. An intriguing grim notion, if uh, it would not trouble you. No trouble at all, my guards will escort you. Mordel surrounded them, chuckling to himself, Ventrier locked a pair of them over as if uh, they were auction board, uh, both at the market, examining the first of one and the Gorath with greater interest. Too easy, he said with sigh. What kind of fool do you take me for? The boy was no use, Korath. But you are a prime star life indeed. You will enjoy your new life below. Seized by the myriad of hands, they were dragged to the mouth of the cavern and thrown in. For entirety, it seemed they stumbled down steps.